the startup has developed a way production of carbon dioxide fats taken from the air and hydrogen from the water. In this process, there is no need to use animals, plants, or the agricultural land. According to former head of Microsoft, butter made with the use this innovative technology tastes as good as traditional ones produced by the methods. California startup Saver, backed by billionaires with Microsoft, Bill Gates, says he has developed a way to make fats without the participation of animals or plants. Fle carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and hydrogen taken from the water. Agriculture accounts for a significant part of global emissions the greenhouse gas. These products can reduce emissions from this branch the economies. This process does not release any greenhouse gases, no uses agricultural land and uses less than a thousandth of water in compared to traditional agriculture, Gates explained in a blog post. One of the newest saver products is butter, which according to Bill, it tastes like real. It tastes really good, how real, because it is chemically so. I couldn't believe I wasn't eating the real butter, the billionaire said. Synthetic production of food fats with the help of chemical and biological processes have considerable potential. Raw materials for this method are the same as those used by plants, hydrogen taken from water and carbon dioxide from the air. The process is based on the concept presented last year Nature Sustainability by researchers at the University of California Irvine. Researchers have shown that fats from animals farmers produce about 1 to 3 grams of carbon dioxide per thousand the calories. But you can produce the same amount of fats in the lab at emissions less than a gram. Large-scale synthesis of edible particles with the help of chemical and biological agents without agricultural raw materials is very real the possibility. This method can avoid huge amounts of gas emissions green greening and at the same time protecting biodiversity in areas that can be ravaged for agriculture, Stephen Davis said last year from UC Irvine, lead author of the study. Fats are made up of different chains of carbon atoms and its hydrogen. These chemical building blocks can be obtained from water and air, and then use biochemical processes to convert them into fats, which are molecularly identical to those found in animals and plants. New type of fat that production does not require participation animals or large areas of the earth is produced in a thermochemical system close to fossil fuel processing than food production. In this process you can build fat molecules to form carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and carbon chains the oxygen. Researchers have developed a process of downloading carbon dioxide from air and hydrogen from water, heating, and oxidation, which it causes the separation of fatty acids and then the formation of fat. The result is real fat particles like the ones we get from milk, cheese, beef, and vegetable oils, Gates wrote on his blog. Kathleen Alexander, Saver's chief executive, admitted that the company's products can be sold in stores in a few years. We are currently on pre-commercial stage and we are working on obtaining consent from the authorities regulatory to be able to sell our butter, she said. The startup also has in plans to develop similar methods of production of cheese, milk, or ice cream. The question is whether such butter and other products made they will synthetically gain recognition in the eyes of customers. Incline people to resign from your favorite dairy and meat products for the benefit more experimental food products can be a challenge. Blocking one of the proteins has increased the life of the mouse by more than 20%. Blocking a protein that promotes inflammation has extended a mouse's life of more than 20%. Moreover, inhibition of interleukin-11, as we are talking about it, the incidence of cancer rods has also decreased and other age-related health problems. 
This research gives hope for development of effective anti-aging therapies. Scientists from the Medical Research Council Laboratory of Medical Science and Imperial College London in collaboration with researchers from Duke News Medical School in Singapore found that blocking a molecule known as interleukin-11 IL-11, may extend the life of mice, suggesting that IL-11 inhibitors they can also have anti-aging effects in humans because these proteins produced they are also through our bodies. Candidates for IL-11 blocking drugs are now tested in humans in anti-cancer therapy studies. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal Nature. IL-11 belongs to the cytokines, the proteins involved the immune response. These proteins have broad and complex functions. They can initiate inflammation, but also counteract it. They stimulate the processes immune-immune, stimulating the cells of the immune system to react. So far, more than a hundred such proteins have been described and new ones are still being discovered. Together they create a complex and extremely sensitive system. Scientists study IL-11 from many years. In 2018, they showed that IL-11 is a perfect product protein and pro-inflammatory, refuting years of misconduct as antifibrotic and it's the opposite. Chronic inflammation contributes to related diseases with aging. As the body ages and accumulate damaged proteins and other molecules the immune system often sees them as signs of possible infection. This may cause inflammatory responses that may cause further damage and contribute to cancer or autoimmune diseases. The link between IL-11 and aging processes has been discovered by accident. Anissa Widjajaja from Duke National University of Singapore Medical the School tested the IL-11 detection method. Coincidentally, she included a sample in the test's proteins taken from the old rat. The test showed that IL-11 level was significantly higher in this sample than in samples from younger rats. This project started in 2017, when one of the R collaborators sent us some tissue samples for another the project. Out of curiosity, I have done several experiments to check the IL-11 level. From the readings it was clear that the IL-11 level increased with age, said Wijija. Researcher admitted rising IL-11 levels contribute to negative effects in the body, such as chronic inflammation, problems with wound healing or regeneration of organs after injury. She also added that although research has been conducted in mice, the team hopes their findings they will have an impact on people's health and lives. This research is an important step towards a better understanding of aging processes. We tried on mouse therapy that could potentially prolong healthy aging and reduce healthy aging the physiological symptoms of this process, she added. By checking IL-11, the researchers examined different samples it was taken from young and older mice. IL-11 was much higher in older individuals in skeletal muscle, fat, and liver tissue. In that the next step was created by mice devoid of a gene that produces interleukin. It is up to you it allowed rodents to live longer by an average of more than 20% compared to mice with normal level of IL-11. The team scored similar results when they used for 25 weeks IL-11 neutralizing antibody in mice at 75 weeks of age. That's more or less the equivalent of 55 years in man. In mice given an antibody from 75. A week of age to death, the life expectancy increased by 22.4%. Males and 25% in females. Mice lived an average of 155 weeks compared to approximately 120 weeks in control mice that have not received an antibody. In the following recording on the left you can see the mice given the antibody neutralizing IL-11, on the right, normally aging. 
both groups the rodents in the film are 90 to 95 weeks. Moreover, among the rodents given antibodies, there was much fewer cases of cancer and diseases caused by fibrosis, chronic inflammation, and weakened metabolism, which are features characteristic of the aging process. For this researchers they observed few side effects. These discoveries are very exciting. The treated mice had fewer cancers and no typical signs of aging. We have observed also, reduce muscle atrophy and improve their strength. In other words, the old mice receiving IL-11 neutralizing antibody were healthier. Although at least the findings concern mice, there is a tempting possibility that neutralizing drugs IL-11 can have a similar effect in humans. Anti-IL-11 therapies are currently being checked in human clinical trials for other conditions, which potentially for exciting opportunities to explore their impact on aging the body in the future, said Stuart Cook of Imperial College London. CEO author of the publication 